All right, here we are, 256 Garage. It's a Thursday. I didn't get to do a Wednesday, but uh, got the little Nissan in the paint booth, and we're about to let Michael see if he can get it painted up for us. We put the rear body in it. We got it seam sealed. Well, then he's got it taped up in red spray. We got to do the front fender on this car also, and we have a rear bumper to paint. But uh, that's what we're doing in the paint side. We can. Very capable of fixing your late model if you're in a wreck. You need the insurance work. We can handle most any insurance companies. And, uh, well, we can handle all insurance companies and any insurance job. So no wreck too big, no wreck too small. There's the late model Nissan. Now there's Michael going to paint the Altima. I hope he don't forget about the bumper right there. You ain't gonna forget about the bumper, are we? He's shaking his head no, but I don't know. It looks like it's gonna be forgotten. Let's don't forget it. Here's what's going inside the shop shop. We got Edwin putting the uh, rear door back together on the Ford truck. Hopefully we'll get the bed back on today and the bumper installed and have this one finished up. We got a late model Nissan over here. That we are working the uh, right door. I've actually took it off and laid it up on a stand. It was pretty mangled. We got the Lexus here going back together. We had to order a uh, door lock actuator for that door, and it's going to be a few days before it comes back, before it comes in, so we can finish it up. We got the power ram primed. I'm blocking on the hood as we speak. That's going to be the last piece. It was eat up with hell damage from end to end so that's when I hadn't put one thin wipe of bondo over it or not bondo but body filler um over it I'm gonna block that off and prime it he's not too worried about dents and stuff he just wants it uh protected from rust the paint was thin surface rust was coming through he just pretty much wanted it protected and so that's the reason why the the roof was the worst part i actually stripped it to bare metal Edge primed it and then regular primed it. I took care of a few big dents. Didn't worry too much about the rest of them, but uh, the obvious ones I took care of. There's what's happening on this Thursday here at 256 Garage.